Hey, what's going on guys? Got another video on the 2012 Ford Focus. Gonna show you how to replace the valve cover gasket. First, you'll wanna go ahead and pop your hood. All right guys, so once you get your hood open and everything, of course, this is gonna be our valve cover here. And as you can see, we got a lot of stuff we need to remove just to uh, pop this off of here. And then I'll show you the reason I'm replacing it. Let me zoom in here. You can see just how wet it is back here along the gasket surface. You can see it's really wet right there and then back in here. And uh, what's happening is it's starting to kind of run down the backside of the motor there. So I think it's time we go ahead and uh, replace this gasket. So what I'm gonna do first is go ahead and uh, start unplugging everything. Of course, all four of our coils and then the VVT solenoids. So all you gotta do is just push down right here on this tab. Go ahead and pop those out of there. Same with the coils. All four of those. And then you got a couple sensors over here. I think we'll be all right leaving this fuel line on here, but you can see you can just kind of rotate it up if we need to. But same thing on these two here. You may need to push in a little bit and then press down to release these ones. And then on the back of the valve cover here, you got this hose, which goes into the uh, air intake. But if you, uh, feel right underneath here there's gonna be a little gray tab for part of this and you're gonna press that towards the driver's side and then you can just pull out so you can see right here here's that tab i was talking about so before i go ahead and start pulling the coils i'm just going to take some compressed air and kind of blow out you can see there's a little bit of dirt and sand down in there so i'm going to go ahead and get that all blown out Next, grab an 8 millimeter. Let's go ahead and pull all four of our coil bolts there. And then you can go ahead and pull those. You may have to just wiggle them back and forth a little bit and those pop right out of there. So next, we need to get this uh, wire loom out of the way here. And you can see it's stretched pretty tight. So I'm going to undo a couple of these clips down here to give us a little more wiggle room so just take your trim tool and you can kind of just pop this one out of there same with this one here and then that gives us a little more wiggle room here so then you can kind of just pop these off of here off those studs Thing with this one here like I said I'm hoping that's enough to get this off of here this one here and then it looks like we got one underneath the fuel pump here so that one there next go ahead and grab your eight millimeter and let's remove this bracket here that's on top of the uh, valve cover there. And then you should be able to kind of swing this out of the way like that. So next one I'm going to do is just see if I can take this, kind of lift it up over the fuel pump there. And uh, gives us a little more room here. This part will still be in our way, but we can still, should be able to lift it off of here with no issues. All right, so now we can go ahead and start pulling some of our valve cover bolts. Um, and you'll just have to loosen them because I think they'll stay in place. They won't actually come out of there, so just loosen them up enough. And those are going to be 8 millimeters, and you're going to have a total of 12 along the outside. And then you're going to have these two on the inside. So go ahead and start loosening all those up. And then there will be one right here. And if you want, you can pull this cover off. Just try not to rip it because these become brittle, as you can see. And then try to get to that one right there. And then you're going to have one right here. And then this one on the back. All right guys, so now we need to uh, just kind of pry up on the valve cover. 
Um, it's kind of seated down there pretty good because there is uh, some RTV uh, from the factory. So what you want to do, get you a little pry tool or something. And you can see you got this lip right here. So what you want to do is just kind of pry as you're pulling up. Just gently, since this is just plastic, you can hear it kind of separating there. And if you can get back over here somewhere, kind of do the same thing, just kind of pry up on it while lifting. You can see it wanting to break free there. Like I said, you just want to be careful since this is only plastic. I think we're separated over here. It's on the back side here. Okay guys, so there's not really any spots on the back here to pry. There is a spot right here on the passenger side. There's this little lip here you can get your fingers under. Because what we're trying to do is uh, just lift this up evenly because it's hard getting it past the uh, VVT solenoids. So if you can kind of pry this end with your tool and then use your fingers to pry up on this side. Let's see if that's enough. You can see it wanting to work its way off. So I think I got it separated enough there. All right, guys, so the hard part getting this off is going to be getting it around these VVT solenoids because it likes to uh, get water in there and kind of corrode and rust around them. So I'm just going to take a little WD-40 here. Spray a little bit of that in there just to help pull this off of here. Just spray a little bit of that in there. And we'll let that soak for a few minutes here. Okay, guys, so I'll let that sit for a few minutes here. Now you can reach back here and kind of just lift up on this. You can see that's broken free. Again, I think we'll be all right with this fuel line here. Um, as far as this wiring harness, let me see if I can bring this around. Get it past that point about right there. And uh, see if I can lift up on this now. Try to get your fingers back under here. Just kind of rock it back and forth. Like I said, it's just getting it past this point here going to be the hardest. There we go. So then what you want to do is kind of tilt it. Get, it, get your wiring harness past this point. And then you're going to kind of slide it out that way. Just watch your lines over here. Not sure what I'm getting caught on here. dipstick once you got the dipstick out now it should come out easily there we go so then you can go ahead and remove the old valve cover gasket you can see it's stuck on here let's pull that out of there all right guys so what i'm going to do next is go ahead and clean up all along the uh, gasket mating surface here 
Like on the back side, you can just see how dirty it is. Um, I'm gonna use a rag and then some brake clean, just spray the brake clean on my rag. And then as I'm wiping this, I'm gonna kind of wipe away because you don't want to get any of that dirt or anything to fall down in there. And then if you take a look here on the back side, actually, let me move my camera here. And then if you take a look here, uh, so where the front cover joined together, you can see they put some uh, RTV and you can go ahead and just kind of, you can see that just kind of flaked off, but make sure that doesn't fall down in there as well. We will be putting some more uh, RTV there. You can see where it joins right there. And then same thing on the other side. So right here, you can see, let me move my camera here. You can see right there. So there's another piece there. I'm gonna go ahead and use some pliers to pick that off so it doesn't fall down in there. So uh, just take your time. I'm gonna clean all this up and then come back. Okay guys, so as you can see, you got that all cleaned up. Like I said, I just took some rags and uh, or paper towels sprayed some brake clean on the rag and then just kind of wiped all along the outer portion here, scraped off uh, whatever is left from that RTV on that end. And then also on this end there, cleaned up all the way around there. And then also you want to clean up, so along this rectangle here, and then also along here, and then along here on this side as well. You want to get that cleaned up as well. So now let's go ahead and take a look at our valve cover. All right, guys, let's go ahead and take a look at the valve cover here. As you saw, the uh, old gasket came off when I pulled it off. And this old gasket is pretty uh, pretty crunchy. So it's definitely dried out. That's probably why it's uh, leaking. And then there's these other three gaskets here that you'll want to pull off. You can use a pick. Just get up underneath them. And these are all going to be different uh, shapes. So you don't have to worry about getting them mixed up. So like I said, just get your, try to get your pick under here. Pull those ones out. And these are the same thing. They're pretty, pretty dried out. Just like that. And then we do have these two VVT solenoid gaskets that we need to remove. Um, so what you can do is flip that over. Just put it on a thick piece of cardboard like this and I think the best bet is to because you want to knock these out and I'm going to try to find a socket that fits right around those and then let's just see if we can just pound them out of there. Okay guys so I found a couple sockets it looks like a inch and a quarter is going to work on that. You can see it's sitting on that uh, little o-ring gasket perfectly. Or, uh, looks like this is a 30 millimeter. Looks like that one's going to work as well. So you just want to get it centered on there. And then I'm going to try to tap this out with a hammer. Again, make sure you're on like a piece of cardboard or a block of wood. Just so you don't damage the uh, screws or the valve cover itself. And let's see if we can just kind of pound down on this and uh, pop it out of there. And those are stuck in there pretty good. Let me try this one here. Just like that. You can see it popped out of there. And it looks like we also popped out one of our screws here. That's all right. So now it's a... Uh, try this other one but as you can see that's what that looks like let's do the same to this one and if you notice these are pretty much flush uh, with the valve cover here so when we go to install the new ones we just want to put them flush just like these so again let me try this there's that one All right guys, so the uh, valve cover gasket set I got is a Felpro VS50877R. I got this off Amazon. I'll put a link in the description for it. 
you can see it includes those ones we just popped out so two of those and then the uh the odd shaped ones that go in the middle of course your valve cover gasket and then that uh, center rectangle one so let's go ahead and uh get these two in here so take your new ones here and uh you can see you want this this side to be up that's how the old one was and let's just see if we can just press these in instead of hitting them in so you can pretty much just press those in um looks like we may just need to tap on it just a little bit to uh get it down flush but if you just press these two in here so just like that you can see they're not flush though so let me just grab a uh, little soft mallet and just see if we can uh, pound on those real quick so I'm just going to take this uh, little mallet here it's pretty soft and just kind of hit right in the center and let's just see if we can make that flush with the cover here So it doesn't seem like that's working too well. So let me see if I can uh, just get on this. Let's give it a couple wax here and see if we can drive that down just a little more. So kind of like that, you'll hear a change in the tone. Looks like I need to go down just a little more on uh, each one of these. And if you take a look here, you can see we are pretty much flush, just like they were before. So that should work just like that. So then you go ahead and flip it over. And what I'm going to do next is just take my uh, paper towel rag and then just kind of soak up any oil that was in uh, where the gasket actually goes. Same with on these uh, middle ones. So let me go ahead and wipe that out really quick and then I'll come back. All right guys, so once you get that all pretty much cleaned up, it's not gonna be perfect. You're not gonna get every bit of oil out of um, those areas there. But what you also wanna do, just take your rag and just kind of wipe, wipe up along here. Same with on this sensor here get those kind of clean like that and then you can go ahead and take your uh, gaskets here start out with these center ones and these only go one way <clears throat> and then they do have a uh, like a little rib on them to hold them in place so go ahead and uh, get those pressed in they'll kind of hold themselves with those ribs just match up the shapes here. So this one here. And this one's kind of doesn't fit in there perfect. Let's see if I can just kind of move that in with my screwdriver here. But that one you may have to just kind of press in there a little bit that to fit because if you take a look here you can see it's almost like that was a little too big but it's fitting in there now and it's flush so should be good on that one then take your uh, valve cover gasket and that'll only go one way 
Of course, you got this half circle over here. So kind of start at one end, get that fit into place. And just kind of follow along. And if you notice, there is a little groove on that half circle for that to fit into right there. So once you get it in, just go around, make sure you're fully pressed in. Make sure you're around all these bolts. And then I will need to put that other, that one popped out when we were banging out those other ones. So just like that, and we should be ready to uh, go ahead and install. And if yours did pop out, um, once you press down really hard on this, this will pop back into place and uh, hold it there. So before we get our uh, valve cover put into place, we're going to need to uh, seal these uh, areas where the front cover uh, attached to the cylinder head there and uh, I'm just going to be using some uh, ultra black RTV So what you can do just go ahead and put a dab of this right there Don't need too much So just something kind of like that. And you can kind of wipe any excess off there. Just a little bit there. And then come to the back here. And then you'll do the same to this one right here. Just put a tiny little bead right there like that. And then you will also want to put some on this, uh, this is like a little cap that goes to the uh, high pressure fuel pump right here. So right there where it goes on top of the cylinder head, on each side, you're going to want to put a little dab on those as well. That's kind of hard to get in here. So if you can kind of do that, and then just wipe with your... Uh, finger there. Again, you just don't want too much in there. And same thing right here. I'm just going to put some on my finger. See if that's a little easier. Just a little bit like that. And that kind of made a mess. So if you can, just kind of wipe any of that extra stuff off of there. that just don't want that leaking on you and then before we go ahead and slide that down I'm just gonna take some dielectric grease I'm just gonna put a little bit on the inside of this these new gaskets here just to help those slide over those uh, solenoids a lot easier so just put a little bit around that all right guys, so I almost forgot to remove uh, these here off the VVT solenoids. So as you can see on the old gasket that we knocked out of the uh, valve cover, you can see where it kind of just ripped. So that's where these kind of ripped and stayed around there. So go ahead and try to remove those. Um, they might be kind of hard. You can see it's starting to move there. So you may need to use a pair of pliers or something. I can get up under those. Okay, so there's that one. Try to do the same to this other one here.
All right, guys, so finally, this is coming off of there. Jeez. You can see how it just kind of corrodes around there. And like I said, it just tore out of that old gasket there. So I just wiped those clean. And like I said, I did put that dielectric grease. Hopefully that'll help that slide on there a little easier. So now we go ahead and get our valve cover gasket or valve cover on. Okay, so go ahead and grab your valve cover, flip it upside down. And let's go ahead and get that into place. Again, I'm going to start at an angle, kind of get it up under here. Just making sure, be careful, your gasket underneath there. Try to get it up over the uh, cam here. Kind of like that. Get this past this point here. Kind of like that. And then let's go ahead and pop it over these VVT solenoids. And you just kind of press down right here. Just double check everything over here. That all looks good. And let's see if you can press down. forth a little bit get those drop down and then you can go ahead and finger tighten some of these just get them at least started in there and then I had that other one that uh, came out as well which was right here It just kind of got to push back in there a little bit. This one did the same thing too. So like I said, just kind of get these snug or finger tight. All right, guys, so once you get those uh, all started kind of by hand there, let's go ahead and just kind of get them snug. And we'll go in a special sequence, just get them snug, and then we'll do the uh, torque in that same sequence. So the first one's going to be right here. This is going to be number one. So like I said, just kind of get them uh, down to where they're just a little snug, but not too tight. This is going to be number two. Number three back here. Number four up here. Number five here. Number six back here. Seven. Back up here to number eight. Number nine. 
Number nine, you're gonna come all the way over here. Ten. Number eleven. And you're gonna go back all the way here. It's gonna be twelve. Thirteen right here. on that fuel line right there. There you go. And then your last one, 14, is going to be right up front here. So now with those pretty much snug, Grab your torque wrench and you're going to torque these to 89 inch pounds and you're going to want to go in that same exact sequence so start out at one two And just like that, all those torque to 89 inch pounds. So then you can go ahead and get your harness kind of back into place here. Get these all clips all back in. Kind of how they were. And then this one, if you remember right, went back down along here. And then this flipped around, went on to that stud there. Right there. Go ahead and plug in your VVT solenoids. And then you can go ahead and plug these back in as well. And hear that click and then you can just pop this on and you should be able to just press it on and it'll click just like that go ahead and grab your dipstick and again don't forget to take that out like i almost did when we were pulling it off but you can see it actually didn't bend it at all then you go ahead and grab your uh coils Go ahead and set those in. Grab your four eight millimeter bolts. Get those kind of started. Grab your eight millimeter, go ahead and get those snug. And then you can go ahead and plug all those in. Just like that. And then don't forget to get this uh, little bracket for your fuel line right there. And your eight millimeter bolt. And then don't forget to get your uh, little cover on your high pressure fuel pump. And you can see this one's about ready to fall apart here, so just be careful. It's come brittle over time. 
And this is just for to keep noise down is all that really does. Quiet that up a little bit. So just kind of like that. All right, guys, so that's pretty much all there is to it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and give that a RTV sealant uh, maybe a couple hours to cure before I go ahead and start it just to make sure. And uh, once you let that cure, you can go ahead and start it. Then grab your flashlight, just kind of check for any leaks, make sure you don't have any leaks. And uh, that should be all there is to it. Okay, so that's going to do it for the video. Again, this was a 2012 Ford Focus. Went ahead and replaced the valve cover gasket. I'd say the hardest part of this job is getting the uh, old valve cover off past those VVT solenoids because those uh, seals just harden up. And as you saw on mine, they kind of oxidize and create a little rust there. But once you get them uh, popped off past that, the uh, job is actually pretty easy. So hopefully this video helps you out. If it does, why don't you subscribe to my channel? Check out all my other videos. I got a whole bunch on this car alone. So check those out when you get a chance. And I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.